And tonight, safety in your community is top of mind from the investments being made for a better facility for the Tallahassee Police Department to money being spent on keeping violent crimes down. ABC 27's Micah Cho joins us live from the Dream Center. Micah, what's happening to curb violence? Yeah, Channing and Ava, the Dream Center focuses on keeping kids off of the streets, helping them through some of the most impressionable parts of their lives before they get into any sort of gang violence. Number one, we'll talk about bandanas, which bandanas represent which gang. We talk nationally, then we also talk locally, uh, because most of our local gangs have pretty much gotten their uh, description from national gangs. For 10 years, Pastor Rudy Ferguson has been in the fight to keep Tallahassee children and teens away from gang activities through the Dream Center. The organization focuses on children considered at risk by educating them on signs and risks of gangs. Our goal here in Tallahassee is to ensure that they understand what these bandanas represent, uh, what these graffitis mean. Uh, the codes, the books that they, you know, for the gang sign and the gang language. With a $120,000 grant from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the Tallahassee Police Department says it will start a gang task force. The money will support additional training for 20 officers. The department will also work closer with Leon County Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Shade McMillan says part of their focus will be on middle and high schools, which can be a recruiting ground for gangs. And a lot of it has to do with um, a, a poor home life and they reach out to someone that gives them support and unfortunately they turn to the streets sometimes for that support. According to the Sheriff's Office report, anatomy of a homicide, 141 homicides happened in Leon County between 2015 and 2020. 36 of those happened in the 32304 zip code, the poorest zip in the state. Eight of those were listed as having gang involvement with three suspects listed as being suspected or confirmed to be in a gang. Those numbers are part of the reason why Ferguson and his organization are doing the work they do, educating, hoping to keep students from going down a dangerous path. Our goal is to bring them out of that environment, tell them there's another way. It may not be the easiest way, but it's the better way, how they get where they need to go without getting themselves in trouble with the law. The Leon County Sheriff's Office also has a program for teens considered at risk. They call it Back on Track, where they have uniform officers sit down with kids to help give them a positive role model in life. For now, in Tallahassee, Micah Cho, ABC 27.